Hey owners, grab your cups. It's Monday and it's time for the Own Your Now Show. Lady O, let's go. Good morning, everyone. It's time for the Own Your Now Show. I am your host, Tracy Berry McGee, also known as Divine T. And I am your co-host, Yolanda Langford, and you know what they call me, Lady Yo. Lady Yo. <laughs> good morning on this Monday. How are you? I am fabulous. It's so good to see you. To start my week out with you is the best. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it's been a little break. I had to take a break. I went to Arizona for my birthday. I know, because it was your birthday, and it was all about you. How'd you like it? I absolutely loved it. You know, it's something about taking a step away from mm -hmm. everything to just be able to breathe, yes. you know, uh, just take everything off. My friend, we walked the labyrinth. I have some really cool pictures. Just being able to center myself. You, you, you know what it's like. Oh, absolutely. But girl, I can't let the day go by without saying you came back with a new hairstyle. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. You know, I just really feel like it's about owning your now. Absolutely. How do you feel in the moment? Absolutely. And uh, today, I felt like I'm just going to do me. And every day, I do me. But it can look different, you know? It absolutely. Can. And girl, you can wear any kind of style. So, you know what? I can't wait to see what you learned while you were out in Arizona. Because one thing about you, you always share. I sure do. I sure do. And I sure will. <laughs> but I just, I want to say to you. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you, darling. What do you say? Good morning. Gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you so much. And you know, I'll take that coming from you. But let me tell you what. We have a vibrant vibe guest, Dr. Ikewande. She is just fabulous and um, all things dentistry. Uh, we're going to learn all about it. Win. We're going to win because <laughs> that's what she's all about. And you know what? She has the perfect smile. Oh, I she does. I can't wait to talk to her. It's all about us making sure that we take care of ourselves inside and out. And she has so many tips. But that smile is everything. And you know what? She's a young sister, beautiful, with a whole vibe. Whole vibe, and she has a family. We're gonna find out how does she balance all of it. That's gonna be the interesting thing. You know, we always have the tea, right? But first, of course, we gotta work on ourselves. We gotta get ready for our cup of therapy. So you guys just stay connected. We'll get ready for our cup of therapy. And it's sponsored by... The care teams that we've designed at Archwell Health work together on every individual patient. The doctors have partners that allow them to spend a lot of time listening. It really allows us to be the best provider for you that we can be. I can one day, Dr. Melba. I can one day from Chesterfield Dentistry. Keep watching the Own Your Now show on the Ah TV network. Okay, everyone, we're back. It's time for the Own Your Now cup of therapy, and I am excited about it. Our affirmation word for today is smile. I need you guys to smile. Look at this beautiful smile. Every single day, we have to look at each other. But first off, we have to look at the, in the mirror yes. and smile to ourselves first. So grab your journals and write down the word smile. Oftentimes, people don't understand the value of seeing a smile. Absolutely. And you know, we, when, 
we had to wear those masks. That's the one thing I did miss is seeing everyone smile because, you know, sometimes you just didn't get that eye contact, but when you're able to see someone come and you can see a smile a mile away. Yes, you can. <laughs> and it just lights up a room. I, I think the thing about it is it has to be genuine. Absolutely. I hate it when people say, well, why don't you just smile? No, I smile when I want to. Absolutely. You know, and I have always been a smiley person. And so, you know, today's guest is kind of like a dear to my heart because when I was younger, I um, didn't have the best um, teeth. Uh, I actually had the silver caps telling all my business on TV. <laughs> yes, I did. So it was important to me to, uh, once I was able to get my smile together, yes. um, it was important, then that's why I always like to, sh to show it. I love that, and you do show it, and it's beautiful. Thank it's, you. And people compliment you all the time. Yes. I know for me, um, oftentimes I think about all the things that people see when it comes to little kids, and, and they don't want to smile, or, you know, as a culture, we have a gap in our teeth, and, oh. which I love. <laughs> I love too. my daughter had a gap, and she got braces, braces. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm, I'm like, I miss it, I yes. miss it. But the thing about um, the doctor, when she comes on, she talks about, you know, her interest in making sure that you, because I'm going to get some implants, y'all. Oh. She does the implant <laughs> dentistry, the restorative dentistry, the cosmetic dentistry. But it's up to you to decide what that looks like. Absolutely. I think it, at the end of the day, it does give you that sense of confidence, of, of just feeling like I'm whole and I'm complete. And you know, they say if you have your original teeth as you get older, that your health is normally better. Okay, okay, I can feel that, <laughs> I can feel that. Well, you know what else I feel? What? We have to do our transformational stretch. Absolutely. So everybody, you gotta check on your strong friends. Lady O, you been checking on your strong friends? I have been checking on my strong friends and I checked on you. Yes, you did. <laughs> and I'm okay, okay, I'm okay. So everybody, check on your strong check friends and we're gonna check on ourselves first. Everybody stretch your arms out. I just want you all to know this song is by Lady Bree and it's Change. Yes, Change is gonna come. Changes is gonna come, that's right. And change right. can be good. It's always good. I feel like it's always good. <laughs> yes. So reach your arms out. I want you to cross your hands over, bring them in close to your heart, listen to your heart. Take a deep breath in and release. Deep breath in and release. I can feel my heart beating. Yes. I can literally feel my heart beating. Yes. And then you know what we do? We hug ourselves. The best part. Yes. And then we take a collective breath. I missed that over the weekend. I'm gonna have to start doing it uh, even when you're not giving me instruction. <laughs> look, look in the mirror, yes. smile at yourself. Yes. And then you know how you sing your favorite song, The Good Morning Gorgeous. Yes. And just do do it all, do it all. You got this, you got this sis. <laughs> okay, so I know I've been gone and I haven't gotten off of my, I, I was doing a lot of walking. Shout out to my bestie. She had me doing a whole lot of walking. But my meal, meal prepping, do we have a dish of the week? Absolutely. So, you know, for me, I prep at the beginning of the week. I cut up all my vegetables, and the first dish I normally make is like a veggie stir fry. I call it Meatless Monday. Oh. So, you know, I like my, oh, oh, oh that sounds like uh, Tracy, you're like, I now, don't know. Y'all know, I don't, I don't need to have the meat. I'm yes. just thinking about my husband, me saying no meat. Yeah, no Meatless meat Monday. Monday, just Meatless Monday, and I chop up all my vegetables, and usually do something like a stir fry, and I'll put a couple of pieces of chicken breast in the oven. Um, that's my go-to, where you can just kind of put it together. Yes. And the extra is, you know, when you do a stir fry and you have a little shrimp left over and a little chicken left over, that add that on top or add that on top of a salad, you have your meal. Okay, okay, so uh, meatless, so that means we can't even do the grilled chicken? Well, on Monday, okay. only on Monday, only okay. on Monday. Okay, And It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. And I always tell people, they always say, oh my gosh, I don't think I'm gonna get full, but you know, you can always put it with a grain, you can have rice, oh, yes. couscous, you can have all kinds of things that are not meat. Look, I don't need the meat, I really don't. <laughs> I'm talking to Nate. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> well then, yeah. Well, we can always do a little grilled chicken. I always, the. To me, it's all the colors. Yes. And and so I love the peppers and the sweet peppers and all of that. I'm gonna try it. Yes, a nice stir fry. It's refreshing. Yes, and we're gonna have a good time eating it. I'll share it with you, I will. <laughs> well, you know it's time for our guests, so what do we need to do? We need to center ourselves and get ready, y'all. When we return, we will have Dr. Akinwin Day. It's not about exact measurements or the perfect dice when it comes to cooking. 
Good food is about feeling. Inspired food is about comfort. And pure food is about feeding the soul. You have to have soul to feed people right. So pull up a chair, take a taste, and let Pure Catering do the cooking. Visit Pure Catering Cafe STL at the Missouri Historical Society today. Life is all about the journey. Life's curves, hitting the road fast or slow. Celebrations, anniversaries, and birthdays. Everything in life is about moving forward. Whatever direction you choose to go, go far, go in style. New or used, go with Frazier Automotive. Worried about your friend but don't know how to reach out? You could say how while you will get a fake tattoo. You could ask with an app if it works for you. You could chat with them in VR. It's so good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. And as promised, we have Dr. Akinwende. She's a wife, mother, and owner of Chesterfield Dentistry. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you guys so much for having me on your show. I truly appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you coming yes. in with that smile. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta ask you, what's in your cup? What are you sipping on? I am sipping on double espresso. Double Black. espresso, well, because you know, you have long days with your patients. And yes. speaking of patients, Chesterfield Dentistry. Yes. When did you open? Because I heard during the pandemic. Now I had the baby, my second son, during the pandemic. Wow. I opened in 2016. Okay. So we stayed open by the grace of God through the pandemic, and I was able to have the baby through the pandemic. You had a pandemic baby. <laughs> a pandemic. <laughs> I bet, look, I bet the baby's crawling. Because, ba you know, pandemic babies do so much. That, that is true. They're a little that extra. So <laughs> They're very extra. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you don't you. look like you, you like you had a baby. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's talk about you literally saying yes to a dentistry that it's all women, right? Yes, it's all women in my practice. I have a hygienist there who's been with us for 20 years, another hygienist who's been with us for two years, and a team of women that have all been there for about a year now, or at least approaching a year. Well, I want to say that um, I went there and I got, I had a great experience. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to continue to come. Thank it was you. really so cool to just be in the space of everyone saying, hello, how are you? Are you okay? Yes. Telling, taking you through the process. And when I tell you, they put the music in your ear and <laughs> everything was just so perfect. Yeah. And um, at the end of the day, I, I honestly, everybody was smiling. Oh, I and, love and, it. And yeah. You could feel the energy. Talk to us about why did you say yes to dentistry? to, what is it, restorative dentistry? So dentistry, we, at Chesterfield Dentistry, we service all aspects of dentistry, implants, veneers, crowns, fillings, all the way down to profies and cleanings. Yes to dentistry is also saying yes to your health, yes. and that's also a beautiful way to be whole and healthy, and I love it. So now do people still come in and, and they're a little scared of the dentist because I know some grown, <laughs> folks yes, some grown folks that say, oh, I'm not going to the dentist. What do you do with patients like that that say, well, you know, I haven't been to a dentist in a while. And a lot of us, I must admit myself, mm -hmm. during the pandemic, we kind of put going to the dentist off. Uh -huh. How does that look uh, after the pandemic? After the pandemic, we all have a lot of work to do because we're right. so backed up. But rightfully so, a lot of patients that are older, they're a little apprehensive because they didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. And um, right now, we're getting caught up. Yes, right. And it's safe. Yes. You can go out, vaccinated or not, we're still using protocols, the same protocols before as now, even more though. Right, okay, so I got an all transparency. I'm a coffee drinker, Yes. okay. Yes. I drink my coffee, yeah. black, no sugar, no cream, okay? Yeah. I'm literally drinking my coffee, black, no sugar, no cream today. Lady, what, how are you drinking your coffee? We didn't ask. I'm drinking black with a little cream. <laughs> <laughs> so 
when you're a coffee drinker, yeah. coffee, tea, wine, because mm -hmm. um, I was with Shay. Shout out to Shay, y'all. <laughs> and she said to me, anything that you can see on a white shirt is just like your tea. It's a process. Yeah. How do I make sure that I continue to drink my coffee yeah. and maintain white tea? Yeah. I love using a straw to drink coffee or any colored beverage, but I also love to whiten. And whitening is like working out. You have to keep up with it and you have to maintain it. Got so it. straws and not really exposing your teeth to red wines too often, no. soy sauce, catch anything, like she said, that can stain a shirt, it can stain your teeth. And keeping up with your cleaning. Right. Right. Now, now, keeping up with your cleaning, it, it, do you suggest once a year as you get older? Do you do it two or three times a year? What's your suggestion? Well, I have some patients that come in four times a year. Some patients come in mm -hmm. two, twice a year. But you need to come in, see a dentist, and we can get you on a great regimen. And that's what it is. It's like you said, it's like exercise. And it with is. anything with your health, you have to, consistency. consistency. Consistency is the key. Well, you know, I want to know about this. Wife. <laughs> Mother, yes. dentist, yes. how do you balance it all? Well, the way that I balance it all is by understanding that I can't give what I don't have. Yes. So every day it's important for me to fill my cup. Yes. Spiritually, yes. mentally, physically, emotionally, and socially. Yes, yes. And spiritually, I understand that I'm a child of God first. Yes. And I love that. Um, we all have overcome some things during the yeah. pandemic and um, it's been a struggle. It yes. really has. Talk to us about what made you feel like I really have to own my now in this moment because I think that it's difficult. And when yeah. you say that spiritual journey, speak to me about that. So the spiritual journey, especially during the pandemic, I lost my mom in 2021. and. Every time I share this story, I get to heal. So what I love the most about it is my emotions and my spirituality. Everything was really separate because I was able to show up to work the very next day. But on the inside, I was torn. Mm -hmm. And it took a while, but I understood that a lot of people must feel like this, where we're yes. doing the work. Yes outside and inside we're struggling to really identify and put language to how I felt You're and right. now I know it's it was anger it oh, was yes. grief yes it was confusion those and those stages of healing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. daily I'm always filling my cup so that I can show up as my best self to myself to my patients yes. to my kids to my husband and also to my friends that have carried me this past year. I've had I've been blessed to have a great support that system. It's just oh. wonderful to hear. And uh, Tracy, I know yes. what you're about to say. Our show was born yes. out of all the things that you just spoke of. So yeah. yeah. I so I did. I lost my mom as well. But I think the biggest piece that she pointed out was the support of your friends. Yes. But you said I had to do it for myself. Yeah. And the pandemic, it kind of shut things down for us to sit with how do we move forward and be very intentional? Yes. So she said, I got up and went to work because you're doing what you love. And, and that's what makes a difference when you're Absolutely. actually doing what you love so that you could be your best self for everyone else. The other thing that I think was important is she said, I went through grief. You, you go through, oh my God, yes. is this real? You yeah. know? Anger. Anger. Yes. All of those are stages of grief. But then you get to a space of acceptance and you were being vulnerable enough that in the space that she was in, she was not only healing herself, she was healing others. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we want to know, what made you say yes to dentistry? I mean, growing up, did you say, oh, I want to be a dentist? <laughs> you knew a dentist. What made you say yes to dentistry? Growing up, my mother, she worked for the post office. My father worked for the post office. And there wasn't there wasn't a person per se that was a dentist, but she took me to an orthodontist office, I'll never forget her, and she was a pregnant woman, and I looked at her and said, I wanna do that. I wanna be yes. like that when yes, I yes, grow yes. up. I always snap when we feel you. Yeah. Um, I feel you, girl, I feel you. Feel you. Um, this fact that you said you were a little girl. Yes. Talk to us about 
if you had advice for a little girl that's chasing her dreams, what would you say to a little girl? I would say believe, believe the thoughts that you can do any and everything yes. and doubt all your doubts and believe everything is possible and extend grace to yourself. Yes, yes that and part. Yes. That part. Grace and mercy and journal it. And don't share it prematurely because you don't want any of those takers to yes. take it away from so you. Speak yes. that again. Don't share prematurely. Don't share prematurely. Don't let everybody know those big dreams. Journal it. Capture it. Don't let it go. Hold on to it. You because know, they do come true. They do come true. <laughs> they do. They do come true. That's what black girl magic looks like. Absolutely. You know, I love yes. it. I love it. <laughs> Snap I love away. it. She said she journals about that. Yes. Um, you're speaking our language. You're speaking the language that all the yeah. girls need to hear. Um, there's so many challenges that we have with opening businesses, but being able to be a whole woman and be transparent yeah. is, is so important. It is. We always ask, what is your affirmation word for today? Yeah. What is your affirmation word? Grace. Grace. Talk grace. to us about grace and how it services you in your career, how it services you in your private life. In my career, I understand that because both my parents and everyone around me didn't look like where I am now, I still remember their prayers and I get to walk in that grace that they prayed yes. for me. Yes. And that's a blessing. Yes. So that is the grace that I get to experience this opportunity here. Well, and I'm blessed for it. We are like proud aunties. <laughs> Yes, I yes. love my auntie. We are like <laughs> proud aunties. We're so proud of you Thank and you. everything that you're doing and, and the representation that you're showing our girls that they matters. can believe yes. and dreams come true. And girl, they can be cute. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, we just want to thank you. You have truly been a blessing to us. You've thank been you. a blessing to everyone yes, today. Yeah. I want to just make sure that you all realize the value of taking care of yourself inside and out and taking care of your smile. Again, we want to thank Chesterfield Dentistry. How can they find you? We are on Instagram. We're on Facebook at ChesterfieldDentistry.com, website ChesterfieldDentistry.com. And I think we have a... TikTok. Or yeah, okay. yeah, I'm not sure. Y'all know they got it. You all better go search and find out. Yeah. Until we um, return, we're going to continue to talk to this yes. sister right here. Keep smiling, y'all. We'll be back with the On Your Now Flow. So at Archwell Health, we believe in making it easy to come see our doctors. It's easy to make an appointment. It's easy to get to one of our centers. Your doctor looks you in the eye, spends time with you, and you'll feel like you're part of our family. Said I'm fine. Since I was little, it was only like me and my parents. You think you created family out of characters? Yeah, <laughs> of course. I'm gonna take that and make it into a song. for the Own Your Now flow. Lady, yo, we have a new niece. We have a new niece, and I mean, <laughs> she is brains 
and beauty. Yes. And one thing I like about her is she has a story and she's open to telling it. And our future is bright. I tell you, girl, our every time I see bright. these young ladies, yes. I'm like, our future is bright. We're going to be okay. And I love the fact that she knows herself. Yes. I think that when you are a business owner, entrepreneurship is hard enough. But she's also a mother and she's a wife and she sounds like a great friend. And she knows her stuff. Yes. She knows her stuff. <laughs> I got to ask you, what is your affirmation word for today? Well, you know, you said smile earlier. Happy. Because when I'm happy, I smile. And um, the world can see it. You know, you can tell a genuine smile, like you said. Yes. You, um, and my kids always say, Mom, you smile all the way. I said, because you know what? All of me is happy. So my word is happy. Well, I think that um, in the midst of us dealing with grief and so many things in the world, we look for the smiles. Mm. We look for the genuine yes. smiles and the people who are truly happy because we can we can be happy on the outside, but on the inside, not feel so good. And oftentimes I tell girls, you look for those people who the toxic pieces, they've broken that down and they let that go. And so the realness is really there. Yes. And that's what we appreciate. That's what I appreciate about you. I appreciate you. Thank I you. I really, really do. I receive that and I appreciate you and all that you have brought into my life. And you know, it's just not me because when I leave work, I get to go home happy. And then my family gets to see a happy Yolanda. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Well, they say happy life is a happy wife. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Well, I think that it's really important that we see the value of knowing that when you smile, you bring in a positive energy and, a, and an energy that everyone can receive. But at times when you feel like I don't feel like smiling, give yourself a little grace. And then at the end of the day, you'll realize the value of happiness because it comes from within. Until next time, keep your cups full. Go out and create some vibrant vibes. Keep sipping peace, love, and positivity. And remember, tomorrow isn't promised, so own your now. the sauce is whipped. The ingredients are fresh. Lefties. The mixes are magical. And the rice is everything. Come get you a plate for $7.99 and experience the hype of Lefty's Fried Rice. Lefty's. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. But now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome. We need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens.